Hey everyone, this is Hans Walter Peterson with the Finger Lakes Grape Program, and I'm out here in a Concord vineyard on Cuca Lake today. And I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can tell the difference between feeding symptoms of two different insect pests. One of them is the eastern grape leaf hopper, and the other one are Japanese beetles. So let's take a look at a couple of leaves and we'll uh, take a look at what those differences are. So the first set of symptoms we're going to look at are from grape leaf hopper feeding. And you can see in this leaf right here, you can see this banding right along the veins of the leaves. This kind of yellow banding. These actually tiny little feeding spots where the leaf hoppers have fed on the cells right along the veins. And these are where a lot of the nutrients and the water is in the, in the, uh, in the leaf. And so that's where they tend to focus their feeding. So you can see it mostly, like I said, focuses along the veins. If it gets really bad, if you pull this leaf aside, you can see it starts to move into other parts of the leaf as well. You can see more of it starting to show up further out into the area between the veins. So, but this feeding is pretty typical of grape leaf hopper feeding. And if we can catch some of them on the underside. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. You can see that little bugger crawling right across the middle there. I'll pull out a little bit. Kind of just to the right of my thumb, you can see a couple of kind of yellowish, that guy right there. Those are a couple of leaf hoppers sitting on the underside of the leaves. That's where they hang out. If you have a lot of them, if you disturb the canopy, like when you're harvesting perhaps, you'll see a lot of them shake around and fly around. The other one we want to talk about is Japanese beetle feeding. And on this leaf, right above, you can see kind of more of these brownish, tan, even white holes. This is Japanese beetle feeding. These beetles are kind of those scarab looking type beetles. You see them around if you have a garden, a lot of times just around your lawn. Uh, and they tend to feed on grapevine leaves as well. And this is the kind of feeding damage that they produce. In both cases, if you have a good sized canopy, which we do a lot of times in the east, they really don't cause too many problems as far as ripening goes. Um, but as you can see in this vineyard, we have both of them feeding. We don't have any Japanese beetles uh, in this canopy right now. But uh, as I showed you before, there certainly are some grape leaf hoppers. So that's how you tell the difference to, between Japanese beetle feeding symptoms and those symptoms from feeding by eastern grape leaf hoppers. This is Hans Walter Peterson with the Finger Lakes Grape Program, and we'll see you out in the vineyard.